Hey guys, Jarek here and welcome to Emberscape. And today I have this. Take a closer look. This is old, in fact 44 million years old piece of Baltic ember. Looks like crusty old potato now, but no worries, my mission is to make it beautiful. There is some issues with the piece, the crust is quite thick and I will have to remove all of it. Plus half of ember is very thin, which might be a problem later on. I will use basic tools to prep it. I will use Dremel rotatory tool for removing crust, basic sandpaper to remove hard scratches and to get a good pre-polish and finally a microfiber with polishing paste to get decent polish on it. And so all the tools I need is here, so let's take the ember and I will show you a little secret it has inside. So let's turn on the illuminator, power it up and this, yep. 90% there is ancient insect inside and our goal is to uncover it from the raisin and make good photos. Let's begin. And I will start from 220 grit bit of the Dremel. Let's take our ember and begin. And so on the first glance the crust looks like it's removed, right? And that's where we are wrong. Well, except for these two spots that we will remove <laughs> for it to be pretty. But what I want to show you is, let's get it wet, is this. These micro fractions are all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, and for it to be really pretty, we have to remove all of these micro fractures. And that's what I'm gonna do now, but the piece will get a lot thinner because of it. There is no crust from this side of the piece, but I will keep dremeling it until all the micro fractions disappear from the top. I'm guessing I will remove around 1 mm of thickness from this piece. And there we go, not a single micro crack left in this side, I didn't bother with this one because probably I won't be keeping it, because it's very very thin, I won't be able to polish it nicely from both sides, yeah, so we will probably remove it like that, but for now let's wash it and let's check the micro cracks. Okay, there we go, and from this side, which we are working right now, yeah, nothing is left from this side we are working on. There you go. All we can see is from this other side only. This one. But this will be the side we will be working on next. And in this section we can see some very tiny flies, which will be probably sacrificed, I'm not sure. Maybe I will try to keep them, but unlikely that they will survive. What we are interested in is this bigger thing in the center. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the this side next. And so the dremeling phase is done and the next one is the sanding and I will start from 1500 grit sandpaper because I ended with 600 grit dremel bit. So 1,500 is a big uh, jump in grid, but yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> so let's just take this beautiful shiny piece of ember and finish it up. And the last stage is the polishing, because the piece is pre-polished up to 2500 Wow, too much of this. Mm -hmm. 
It's time to wipe off dried out polishing paste. And the funny thing is that I still have no idea what kind of insect is in this piece. It's completely surrounded by layers, but polishing end result is satisfying. Crusty old potato transformed into transparent beautiful gem. Amber is an exclusive organic gem material formed millions of years ago. I am happy with the end result of this piece, even if it's quite thin from the middle. The inclusion is very close to the surface from the other side and that's why it's quite oxidized. It was very hard to get decent photos of it, but my friend Arturi as always identified it for me, even without the decent photos of this specimen. It's a moth, Lepidoptera, an uncommon find. Too bad its preservation is lacking, but who can complain considering it's over 40 million years old? And since it's not very cool looking, I have something extra to share with you. This specimen is an ant-like stone beetle, twice as old as this moth and it is in insane preservation quality. More specifically, it's called Cretoleptorochromus burmitus, now extinct predator from the Cretaceous period. If interested in more cool specimens of amber, or general in fossils, check out my Instagram page, you might find something interesting in it, link will be in the description. And that's it for the video, I hope you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe. And thanks for watching, see you next time and bye!